Hello, the purpose of this video is to help both students and parents through the course selection process. The video will walk through all steps that must be completed in order to register for next year's classes. The process for course selection will be done through PowerSchool. Please keep in mind that even though this example is using a 9th grade student registering for 10th grade courses, these steps are applicable for all grade levels as the process is the same. When you log on to PowerSchool during the course registration window, you will see a new link on the left hand side that says Course Requests. This is the link you will click on to register for all of next year's courses. When you click on this link, you will be brought to the main screen and what you will see is a list of all main content areas as well as elective content areas. You will also see numerous icons. The first one is a pencil icon. This is what you will click on to select your courses or to edit your already selected courses. I will show you this icon in more detail in just a few moments. The red exclamation icon is to indicate that an action is required by the student. In this example, a 10th grade English class is a required course, which is why you see the red exclamation to the right. This indicates to the student that they must sign up for a course within this content area. Lastly, you will also see a green checkmark icon. This checkmark indicates that no further action is required by the student. For example, you will see a green checkmark next to any courses that have been pre-selected for the student, which I will talk more about in just a moment. In addition, you will also see the green checkmark next to elective content areas where a course selection is not required. As mentioned previously, some courses have already been pre-selected for the student. That is because those courses are required courses for students in that grade level. In this example, health is a required course for a 10th grade student and therefore it has already been selected for the student. Next to the pre-selected course is a green checkmark icon which indicates that no further action is required by the student in selecting this course. So to register for a course, I will click on the pencil icon to the right of the content area. When I do so, I will see a list of potential courses within that content area that I can choose from. If a teacher has recommended a course for a student, the recommended course will automatically be listed at the top with the recommending teacher's name in the alert column. So when I want to sign up for a specific course, I would simply check the box to the left of the course name and hit the OK button. Now, when I go back to the main screen, I will see that I have successfully registered for that course. Not only will the course appear, but you may also notice that the exclamation mark has changed to a green check mark. To register for an elective, you scroll down on the main screen and go through the same steps you would for a main content area course. When you click on the pencil icon, a list of available courses in that elective area will appear. Again, if a teacher has recommended a course for you, it will automatically appear at the top. I want to bring your attention to the fact that many elective areas have numerous pages. If you do not see a course listed, you may have to click on the next page to see more options. Now I will go ahead and register for an art course in the same way that I did before. You will now notice that this course has appeared on my main screen. Once you have all of your courses selected, you can scroll all the way down to the bottom. There is a required minimum number of credit hours as well as a maximum that you must sign up for. In this example, the student would need to sign up for somewhere between 5.25 and 8 credit hours. If you notice, at this point, the credit hours I have selected do not meet the minimum credit hours required. Since my credit hours do not fall within the minimum and maximum window, you will see a red exclamation mark to the right indicating that some type of action is still required. At this point, if I were to hit the submit button, I would get an error message letting me know that my submission has failed. Once you have registered for all of your required courses and you are within the minimum and maximum credit hours, the red exclamation will turn to a green check mark. When you hit the submit button, you will no longer get an error message and a list of all of the courses you have registered for will appear. At any point within the course selection window, you can go back and edit a course selection by clicking on the pencil icon. 
So if I changed my mind about the art class I wanted to take, I could go back, unselect it, select a different course, and hit the OK button. Now my course will change on the main screen. Once you are finished selecting all of your courses and you hit the Submit button, be sure to sign out of PowerSchool. We hope that you found the information in this video helpful. Thank you for watching.